All right, so in this video, we're gonna go through how to spy on your law firm's competitors. Whoo, touchy, touchy subject, but wow, it works wonders. It works so well um, to leverage a tool called SpyFu to look at what your law firm's competitors are doing online so you can replicate what works, okay? And you can avoid what's not working. And you can also find out what specific blog posts are actually getting results for your competitors for the right keywords. So this is what spyfoo.com looks like. Um, all you do is you literally enter your competitors or your own URL. So the www whatever competitor X, Y, or Z dot com. Uh, and you enter that in here and then you can see specifically, uh, you know, what is happening with your competitor's website from a keyword perspective. So let me give you a quick example here. Um, what I'll show you first is, um, let's see, let's just type in someone personal injury lawyer so let's do this um let's type in monthly.com so i'm not going to put any of the, i'm not going to put the slash right i'm just going to put monthly.com okay put that right here press enter and now what it'll show me is what uh, Monthly is ranking for, okay? So on the left side, you see organic search or SEO results, okay? And on the left, uh, on the, uh, that's the left side. On the right side, you'll see their paid search or PPC results. Now, I must preface this, okay? SpyFu is almost never completely accurate. I only use it as a benchmark for comparison between firms, okay? So I don't necessarily look, um, unless it's a high traffic site like this actually, which is a funny example, because most law firms aren't getting this much traffic. Um, the numbers aren't usually statistically significant enough to actually know the truth behind the data. Um, so, um, you know, what I'll show you is how to dissect the SEO side of things and then how to dissect the PPC side of things. And keep in mind, this PPC portion only applies if someone is running Google Ads traffic to their actual main URL and not separate landing pages. A lot of lawyers have separate landing pages um, that they use for their Google Ads or for Facebook Ads um, so that they can segment their traffic from organic to paid advertising. Um, so it's very important to understand that not all of their paid search PPC data is going to be showing up here. So with that being said, let's dive into SEO real quick. So what I like to do, you can either click up here to go to the SEO overview, or you can just click, you know, right around here on it. It brings you to the SEO. overview. So, what I like to do is I like to zoom out big time, so like five years to see, you know, where this law firm was at a long time ago. The way to do that is, again, SEO overview, and then you zoom out five years, and then you can look at how many organic keywords they were ranking for over time, how many clicks their website was getting. That's interesting. You know, clicks were up five years ago. It's interesting. So clicks have been volatile, okay? Now click value, this is kind of interesting. The, the way that they derive click value is essentially what would the Google AdWords cost per click be for the keywords that they're ranking for in their SEO. Um, so, um, so this is an arbitrary value. This is not a clear numerical uh, figure by any means, but essentially they're saying that if they were to be with the number of clicks they're getting per month, 
um, they would be spending $1.2 million per month on Google. So what that means is if you do the math, um, that would be, you know, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, So they're saying that the average click value in their market um, is $34.99, approximately, 98 cents. Okay, so that makes sense for SEO clicks for a uh, personal injury law firm um, because, you know, SEO clicks are less expensive uh, keywords than the paid search, the PPC clicks, um, meaning most people like, like there's going to be more research terms that go to your website from SEO versus the people who click on Google ads are usually just looking for a lawyer. And those cost per clicks are like 90 you know, 70 to 90 bucks, depending on your geographic area. Um, so here's where I always start my search. I always like looking at the trends, you know, over five years, seeing what's, are they going in the right direction? Okay. Then one thing you can look is you can click on this competitor tab. You can see who is competing against them in this market. Okay. And then you can do deeper research on each of these competitors. Um, another thing that I use is SEO keywords. This is probably the most valuable tab because it shows you what their, uh, what specific blogs are ranking. So workers comp lawyers as a keyword is ranking for them. Um, and then it shows the, um, the article that, okay. So they have backlinks on their article. Okay. You can see that this is the article that's, uh, there's an ad on this one. So I'm gonna see what this, there's an ad and this is ranking organically. Okay, so brought it back here. Regardless, you can look at what specific keywords are ranking for them. It looks like they're ranking number one for, uh, in this area, it looks like the Scranton area. Um, So you can see specifically what page is ranking. This looks like a service page that has an FAQ section, which works well in SEO. So in essence, you could replicate the layout of this and just write completely different copy um, to have this work for your law firm in your market. Um, and then just use the town name that you're looking to go after um, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel with your blog strategy to rank via SEO. So that's one simple way to audit what is currently working for some of your bigger competitors locally. So all I did just as a recap is I went to Google, I typed in personal injury lawyer, Philadelphia, I clicked on the top, well, other than find law, um, I clicked on the top organic result that's actually a law firm. I put it in the SpyFu, I went to their SEO research, okay? And then I, I audited their trends, I audited their um, competitors and their SEO keywords, okay? Backlinks is another good thing too. If, if someone gave a backlink to Mundly as a law firm, that source is probably gonna be more likely to give you a law firm, uh, a, a backlink as well as a law firm. So we can see cornell.edu um, wow, that's a 10, 10 million traffic. Um, so that's a good link. So what I would do is I would reach out to Cornell uh, University, Cornell, whoever runs the law department at cornell.edu and ask them, how do we get on your website? Can we provide you free content? Can we do a guest blog? Can we do a featured post? Um, what do we need to do to get a backlink from cornell.edu back to my law firm's website. And usually you're gonna to have to do something for free to earn that. Okay, next uh, we have the PPC side of things. Um, this is fun stuff because this is what um, Mundly is choosing to spend money on. So all I did here is I clicked on PPC research. Again, you can just click right here if you want on the, on the main page and you're brought to the same area. So you come here and you can, again, toggle between paid keywords, 
estimated monthly PPC clicks and estimated monthly PPC budget. Again, these numbers are almost never accurate. I like clicking them all time sometimes. This is bringing me all the way back to 2014. So you can see they stop Google ads, they pick back up. But also sometimes when it appears as though they stop spending a lot, sometimes they, start, they actually just sent their Google ads to different landing pages. So that means that this specific URL, monthly.com, didn't get any Google ads click directly, Google ads clicks directly to it for that time period. So it doesn't mean they didn't spend on Google ads. It means maybe they used a separate landing page. So don't, don't look at this as black and white. Um, this month, it looks like they're projected, they've already spent $25,800. And they've been averaging between 26,400 uh, all the way up to 37, 38 K. Um, so that's what they're spending per month. And they're probably seeing good results from that if they're going after the right keywords. But let's do the same thing that we just did. Click on competitors. Okay. So we can see who their paid, their PPC competitors are. Okay. This is different than their, uh, you know, uh, their SEO competitors, by the way, Th these are people who are spending money on Google ads, not showing up necessarily organically. Okay. Then we go, we go to PPC keywords again versus SEO keywords like we did in the other one. And we can see exactly what they're bidding on, bidding on keyword wise, auto accident lawyer. Munley is a bigger firm, so they can probably afford to go after that in their area. Um, now here's the sad thing is it looks like they're sending traffic to the main page of their website. Ah, kills me, kills me. Their conversion rate could be so much higher if they were sending auto accident keyword traffic to an auto accident page. Kills me. 18 wheeler, 18 wheeler lawyer is a good keyword to go after. Here's another mistake we very commonly see. They're they're, they don't know it, but they're bidding on St. Louis personal injury lawyer, and they're not located in St. Louis. They're located in Pennsylvania. Why is that happening? Why are why is their ad showing up for St. Louis personal injury lawyer? Uh, because they didn't exclude the word St. Louis. So what happens is if someone's physically located in Philadelphia and they type in St. Louis personal injury lawyer and they're visiting a family member in Philly, but they're looking for a lawyer in St. Louis, they may do that search on their mobile phone locally um, for a St. Louis personal injury lawyer and then Munley's ad showing up. But the person isn't looking for a Pennsylvania lawyer. They're looking for a St. Louis lawyer back home. Um, so usually we see this uh, for many, many different town variations uh, for big spending lawyers because um, they're just not focused on all of the possible details in the market for marketing. So um, so this is just one quick example as to how we audit what uh, people are bidding on. Um, a cool thing here is, oh, and one thing before I move on is uh, monthly searches does not mean how many times this is being searched in their market, like Philadelphia. Auto accident lawyer is not being searched 14,800 times a month in Philadelphia. That's a national volume estimate, okay? And uh, another thing is monthly cost, it says 161,000. That would mean, okay, they're saying that if Munley were to market nationally for this term, auto accident lawyer, they would need to spend $161,000 a month to get 100% market share just for that one keyword. Okay, so this is not, this data is not specific to the geographic area in which they're marketing. You just want to use this for decision making cri criteria to come up with keywords that would potentially work for your law firm based on what they're spending money on. So this is just a, a quick overview. If you're looking for a more in depth competitive analysis, go to smbteam.com and we'd be happy to provide that to you so that we can um, look at some of the competitors in your market and show you how, how we would strategize different ways based on your budget, which is very important here, um, based on your budget, how we would tackle the market um, uh, 
considering the competitiveness of your area and what uh, you know how co how competitive it is in demand terms, but also what your competition is doing. And you can go to smbteam.com. That's small, medium business team. Dot com, submit your information, and I'd love to give you a free competitor analysis consultation um, if you're interested. Otherwise, you can do this on your own. SpyFu costs uh, under $100 a month to get a subscription to, um, and they'll give you a couple free searches before you have to subscribe. So try it out on your own, spyfu.com, and I hope this helps you blast up your law firm, uh, grow your law firm in this crazy complex market with heavy competition. All right, thanks.